I, I ordered five cheeseburgers. Spent thirty dollars on five guys. <laughs> I ordered five cheeseburgers, and I'm I'm not gonna sit down and eat them all at once. All right, good afternoon. Uh, we've already been trucking most of the day. I think we've gone about all right at 500 miles, 497 miles today so far. Uh, we're over here in um, Emporia, Virginia, off of I-95. I haven't been here in a long time. We're it. This is now. I'm gonna spin you around. Hang on. This is now a pilot truck stop, but this used to be a Saddler truck stop. And then over that way over there, there is a Five Guys over there. And I just got back from Five Guys. I called my order in and they had it ready. <laughs> I, I ordered five cheeseburgers. Spent $30 on Five Guys. <laughs> I ordered five cheeseburgers and I'm, I'm not going to sit down and eat them all at once. <laughs> They're for later, but uh, I do have a Five Guys story for you. I... Uh, the when I I signed on when I first leased on with a company out of Springfield, Virginia, which is up by Washington D.C. in 2001, and uh, I went to the original Five Guys up there in uh, Springfield or near Springfield. There wasn't too far away, and uh, but that was before they were nationwide. So that was 19 19 years ago that I was up there, and uh, and I remember when I signed on with Interstate Van Lines. They were like, oh man, we got to go down here and get these hamburgers. They got the best hamburgers down at this little, and this place was like a little shack, a little hole in the wall shack. They got the best hamburgers. Uh, but, uh, and it was a Five Guys, and it wasn't until later I put all the pieces together and realized I had been to the original Five Guys, because like I said, they weren't a, a chain by then or yet. But anyway, so I got me, I figure I probably got 6,000 calories worth of uh, hamburgers. So uh, I'm pretty good for a while. Um, we do not have a reload yet. I'm taking my 30 minute break. I still got about 10 minutes left on my 30 minute break. Uh, we're taking a 30 minute break. Uh, we do not have a reload yet out of um, No Folk for tomorrow. So I'm uh, not too sure what we're gonna do. Well, let me find out who this is. This is Kentucky. Uh, let me talk to them, hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, that wasn't a load. Uh, Mercer, do we have these, uh, what they call safety assignments, or like uh, every quarter, it's, it's, it's to show that they're improving or teaching us safety. So last night, we have these little videos you have to watch. It's like a safety video. Uh, I think the one I watched, I watched two last night. It was about adverse driving conditions. And what was the other one? I don't know. Anyway, the little videos you have to watch, and there's a little test at the end of them. Um, but uh, oh, I know what it was. It it one was the little video. The other one was uh, it, just a document that we had to read that outlined Mercer's safety policy. That's what it was. So anyway, I did both of those. So anyway, uh, like I said, we don't have a reload yet, so I'm not too sure what we're gonna do. Um, I told Katie if we can find something from Monday, I'll sit in Norfolk and wait for it on Monday, but I'm not gonna sit in no folk and hope I find a load on Monday. So, but uh, we'll see how it goes, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I think our break uh, is almost over. We got about five more minutes, so I'm gonna gather myself up. We're going down to Frank's truck stop. Uh, I am gonna film from here down to Frank's uh, because it's kind of the back roads. It's four lane road, but it's kind of back roads, farm country, so it's kind of cool looking, about 70 miles. So anyway, let's get uh, let's get going, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, break's over with. We got about 70 miles, but it's back roads, so it probably takes about an hour and a half um, down over to Frank's truck stop, which well, I can't remember the name of that town. That it's not Chesapeake. Anyway, it's over there by Nofo. All that area to me is Nofo, Suffolk maybe. Uh, but yeah, this used to be Sadler's Truck Stop. There used to be another one, or there is another one down by Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I used to hang out there a lot because I did military when I did household goods. And I would hang out there at that Sadler. And I think Sadler's sold out. 
And it's the same NASCAR Saddler driver guy, uh, the name. So it's the same family or something like that. But uh, they used to have uh, they used to have stuff in there, racing stuff in there. But I think pilots bought them or something happened. But this truck stop is usually well when it was Saddler, you could come in here and find a parking spot. And a lot of these truck stops, when they turn over to pilots. Uh, our fly chase <laughs> all the little secret parking places go away so they usually are uh, packed full but you used to be able to come in here they got a big lot out back it's a dirt lot but they got a big lot out back there and you can park back there but I just wanted to show you they still got the Saddler sign up there so maybe it's the Saddler and they just uh, pilot franchise but it's called the Saddler Travel Plaza in Emporia, Virginia, exit 11. So, all right, I was hoping this light would change before I get to it. Let's see where we at. No, everything's still green. All right, hang on. Okay, here we go. We got the green light. Oh. Make our way over to Emporia, or no, to where we're going. I call it Norfolk. Our appointment tomorrow is at nine o'clock. And I'm kind of liking the nine o'clock here lately. I've been setting my appointments for nine o'clock. What that does is it lets the rush hour traffic get out of the way and uh, gets me a chance to get in there without having to deal with too much uh, rush hour traffic. So, all right, I'm pulling this hill a little bit, so it's gonna be a little bit loud. But uh, let me, uh, let's get over there and enjoy the scenery and I'll uh, talk to you in a bit. parking up front. If they got any parking up front, we'll park here. If not, we'll go around back. But that's Frank's truck stop right there. Let's go this way. Let's see if there's 
anything. Yeah, there's a couple spots right there. Okay, we made it over here to Frank's truck stop. Um, I was on the phone for a little bit. We booked a load out of uh, Richmond, Virginia for tomorrow going to North Dakota. So uh, it's kind of out there, but uh, that'll be all right. Um, we got, uh, I just got off the phone with where we have to take these things to. So hopefully that's lined up. We need to be in Richmond by one o'clock. So hopefully things will go pretty smoothly uh, tomorrow once we get unloaded and uh and we can get up there uh so we'll, we'll play it by ear but hopefully by one o'clock so uh other than that today was a good day yesterday like i said yesterday was a crazy day and i don't know if without giving up too much but it, th things could have gone extremely wrong meaning if they if i would have loaded that shipment i mean i had the paperwork in my hand and everything else if I would have loaded that ship and it took off with it, I would have had to bring it back. So that that's how crazy things could have got yesterday. Um, but anyway, luckily it didn't. That's it. So tomorrow we'll hit it again and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.